Well, it's time now for the latest from the African Health Network. Monkeypox is a rare viral disease caused by the monkeypox virus. It was reported in humans for the first time in 1970 and occurs mostly in Central and Western Africa. Our health correspondent, Lino Mudu, spoke with an infectious disease epidemi epidemiologist who has been conducting research on monkeypox in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Welcome to the Africa Health Network. I'm Lenore Moudou and we are here with Dr. Anne Rimoin. She is an infectious disease epidemiologist and she works on the monkeypox virus. Welcome mm -hmm. to the show. Thank you very much. So the monkeypox virus, can you enlighten us in terms of what it is? I, I was very surprised to find out about it. What is monkeypox? Well, monkeypox is a pox virus, um, and it is very, very similar. It's a cousin of smallpox, which was a disease that was very common, uh, but is now eradicated, mm -hmm. no longer exists. Tell us about the epidemiology of that disease. Where can you find it, and who is most at risk? Monkeypox is a disease that is commonly found in the forests of Central Africa. Uh, it infects um, mice infects rodents, it infects squirrels, and it infects monkeys. Um, and when people hunt and eat these animals, they are exposed to the virus, and then humans get the disease. And when humans get the disease, how does it, uh, what are the symptoms? Um, monkeypox is very visual. There you have a rash um, that is a very dramatic rash. Uh, monkeypox can often be confused with chickenpox because chickenpox is also a uh, an illness that produces a rash, but it's generally much less severe than monkeypox. But in addition to that, uh, you don't normally have uh, lesions on the palms of your hands or on the soles of your feet. Now, considering you say that it's in the central uh, part of Africa, how much of a concern should it be for people globally? Well, monkeypox is something that happens most frequently in the remote forests of Central Africa, but we are um, not immune to, to getting those things here with frequent air travel, um, with uh, trade of animals. It's very easy for a disease yeah. that's normally lurking in the, in the forest in Africa to be able to come to a place like the United States. Years ago, there was an outbreak of Ebola, and it was a big concern. What about monkeypox? Well, monkeypox, unlike Ebola, is something that you see frequently in a place like yeah. DRC. Um, previously, monkeypox was thought to be this sporadic disease that would only flare up once in a while. But what we know now is that monkeypox is actually endemic. It's something that happens regularly in areas where humans are exposed to animals that harbor the virus. What would be your ultimate goal or your ultimate reward? Well, my ultimate goal is to be able to help the, the people that I'm working, the local people that I work with, to help the Congolese be able to take control of their own research and health agenda. Um, I work with a lot of, of host country nationals. In fact, the, the vast majority of my program is um, with local Congolese um, health officials and, and researchers. And, you know, they, what I want to do is I want to be able to work my way out of a job. I want to be able to uh, help people be able to solve important um, problems to be able to, to collect the data that they need and then to be able to um, make decisions based on these data. That was uh, Dr. Anne Rimoin. With, uh, she is an epidemiologist who works with, in the DRC. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, this was the Africa Health Network for today.